Hello everyone. So through this video, we are going to do a question on measurement techniques, which is an important concept for AS level physics as well as the IBDP course. SL program. So today we are discussing an exam style question related to the cathode ray oscilloscope also known as this. A source of radio waves sends a pulse towards a reflector. Right? The pulse returns from the reflector and is detected at the same point as the source. The emitted and reflected pulses are recorded by CRO and are shown. So what's happening? A source of waves is producing a wave which is going towards a reflector and returning back. Right? At the same point. Now the emitted and reflected pulses are recorded on the CRO. So one confusion here can be whether this is where they are recorded. Are these the two instances? Is this the time difference we have to consider? But no, we consider the time difference from the peak of the signal. So this is the time lapse between the two. So the signal going and the signal coming back. Time based setting is given. Time based setting means the x axis 0 0.20 microseconds per centimeter. So this is 1 centimeters, 2 centimeters, 3 centimeters, 4 centimeters. That means between the two signals there is 4 centimeters. Right? Determine the distance between the source and the reflector. So when the wave is going and coming back, this is the distance d between the two so it's going a distance d and then coming back a distance d also right so basically the total distance covered is 2d where d is the distance between the source and the reflector radio waves are there that means their speed is Three into ten raised to eight meters per second because these are radio waves, right? Now, how much is the time taken for this? Distance covered is two d. S or distance is two d, right? What is the time taken? Time taken is four into point two microseconds because 4 centimeter and each centimeter represents 0.2 microseconds so that gives 0.8 microseconds which is also equal to 0 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 6 seconds so at this velocity this much distance is covered in this much time so distance is what distance is the speed into the time second per second get cancelled so 3 into 2 0 0.8 which is 2.4 and 10 raised to 8 minus 6 2 meters right which is equal to 240 meters so 2d is 240 meters d is equal to 240 by 2 which is 120 meters meaning the distance between the source and the reflector is 120 meters and the wave went by 120 meters came back 120 meters the total was 240 meters now there is another question over here determine the time based setting required to produce the same separation on the CRO when sound waves are used and speed of sound is 300 meters per second. So we are getting the same trace. The distance covered will be the same, but a different wave was sent. Sound wave was sent, meaning the speed was changed now, right? So first of all, we know that distance s is equal to the speed into the time taken. Since 
the time taken will be different why because the speed is different so first we have to find how much time was taken distance remained the same yes speed is changing we know it's 300 distance is 2d again from the previous part into the time so distance was 240 meters because the distance is same as the previous one time was speed was 300 meters per second right so time is how much i take this 300 here so time taken is 240 by 300 0.8 seconds right now the question is what is the separation of pulses meaning what is the time based setting same separation 4 centimeters apart right now think about it if they are 4 centimeter apart 4.8 seconds 4 centimeter is 0.8 seconds right because this time duration is 0.8 seconds because of a different speed so 1 centimeter represents how much 0.8 by 4 which is 0.2 seconds so what do I need is 0.2 seconds per centimeter. This time based setting is needed. So basically we have to understand what is happening, why this is happening. Then we will be able to answer this question. If you want, you can pause through this video and look at all the steps again. And then we proceed to a question. I have this question for you. I want you to pause the video and attempt this question and mention your answer in the comments. If you like this video, please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you want to discuss concepts, please call at the number given. I hope you had a wonderful day. You had a wonderful understanding. Thank you so much.